This is the plaintiff, Williams Awusu. He said he came home one day to a pow pow sound in his apartment, and when he opened the door, he saw what it was a leak from his ceiling directly onto a 60 inch smart TV. That offended his landlord says there's nothing he can do about it. His TV was ruined, and he's here in the name of justice, seeking the $1,087.62 he's rightfully owed. This is the defendant, Garrett Metcalf, legal counsel for the landlord. He says the plaintiff's TV is seven years old, and from a legal standpoint, it's worth nothing. The plaintiff can't even prove there was a leak to begin with. Based on the valueless TV and no proof there was a leak, the plaintiff has nothing to sue for, and he will not win his case today. He's accused of not reimbursing a tenant. The defendant has filed a counter suit for $1,500 for malicious prosecution. All parties, please raise your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket. The plaintiff says there was a leak in his ceiling uh, and the water damaged his 60 inch TV. In fact, ruined it. But the landlord says, not his problem. It's the case of you are such a drip. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Mr. Owusu. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You are suing the management company that is being represented by Mr. Metcalf. Now, you happen to be an attorney, correct? Correct. But you're here to testify as a custodian of records, or you have power of attorney for whoever is actually the owner of that building. Correct. All right. You're suing them for $1,087.62, a cost that you say of a TV yes. that was ruined because of a leak, and you have a counterclaim against it for $1,500 for malicious prosecution. Okay. Let me hear from you. The one uh, Tuesday, I'm coming from dialysis. When I open my door, I hear the noise, pow, pow, pow. The time I go and check in, the water coming from the roofing, it hit my TV. Okay, you live in an apartment? The studio, but it's apartment. I'm living fifth floor. So You're I'm on the fifth floor and there's floors so above you? Sixth floor. Okay, go mm -hmm. on. I saw the TV, the water, it coming from the roof, and you go to my TV, I turn the TV. When you say roof, you mean ceiling, right? Oh, ceiling, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Ceiling. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going and call the super. The super is not there. I call the wife. Uh, the wife come and check. I call one guy, the guy from Africa, the guy, another one from Puerto Rico. The Puerto Rico guy tell me, take the pictures. Wait, wait, wait. They have an African and Puerto Rican what? For the evidence. Are you mean your neighbors? Is that what you're saying? It's a, uh, you live in another apartment. It's okay, my neighbor. Okay, a neighbor. Okay, mm -hmm. go on. And another uh, Puerto Rico is my neighbor. Okay, he, he so come grab and watch Africa, it. Puerto Rico, <laughs> yeah. and what? He come and watch it for okay, the evidence. Okay, are they here to yeah. testify? No, the guy tell me. Okay, do you have an affidavit from them, a statement? No, I don't. Okay, have it. so it, you see the leaking, and what happens? What do you do? But I go and call the super wife. The super right, wife is there. Right, and she says he's not available. The super wife. The super wife. He go to the sixth floor. He come and tell me. Uh, the lady living the sixth floor, the water coming from uh, the air condition. That's why he say. That time, the super, uh, the super wife called the super. Okay. The, the super come in my house. Oh, okay. He come and watch it, he take the pictures. The super took pictures? Uh, took the pictures. Okay, do you have the pictures from the super? I have uh, three pictures that May I, I see them? From. Did you take pictures? I um, take the picture too. The Puerto Rico guy tell me take the Puerto picture. Puerto Rico guy told that uh, tell to me. the Puerto Rican. Take, <laughs> okay. May I just note on the third picture, he has an air conditioned unit that's right by the television. That's about four feet away. Order. Order. And if it dripped, it would drip down here. It wouldn't <laughs> magically drip like this on this TV. Oh, wow. Is that the bubble on the ceiling? The bubble in the ceiling. What's this a picture of? That's a super. He's trying okay. to come and fix it. So this is a super. He's on a ladder. And what's he looking at up there? The water coming from, there's some water coming from the window, some water coming from the bubble. That bubble won't go to my TV. Oh, I see the bubble. Yeah. There's the bubble right yeah. on top of your TV. Yeah, that one will go to my TV inside. Right. But why is he checking by the window? Where does he think the water's the, coming the, from? The water coming from everywhere. The damage, if you... Where's the super? Is he here? No, Super's not here. Okay, who's the gentleman you brought? He's an expert witness uh, for on, what? on the valuation of all the damages about him mitigating and uh, just things. about the TV. The, how, TV are the you mitigation. In the, do you sell TVs? Come on up. What do no, you do? No, Your Honor, I'm an accountant. You're an accountant. Got to yes. see. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, <laughs> so go ahead. 
Did anybody determine where the leak came from? The super tell me. The water coming from the, the lady air condition. From the ladies air condition. Yeah, that's what the super tell me. The management tell me, why you don't see the lady? I say, I'm a Christian. I serve the uh, almighty God. I don't okay. see by my eyes the uh, water coming from the lady house. Why can okay. I see the lady? Okay. The only thing I know, the water coming from the roofing. Okay. It go to my TV. Okay. The manager called me. He said, William, come into my office. Come and take 500. And go the and manager buy offered you $500? He said, you want to give me 500 You didn't take it? I said, it's insult. Why? How is it an insult? The TV's how old? Because the TV is four, uh, four years old. Four years old. I said, if you think the TV, I don't need money from you. I need the TV. If you think the TV is 500 buy t that TV for me. That's what, yeah, that, I just need the TV. I don't need the money. I would have then gone out and bought him a, a four-year-old TV and saved some of that $500. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let me hear from you. Well, there, there's two issues. He didn't have renter's insurance. So this was a problem that could have easily been solved if he just did the cheap option, which is simply buying renter's insurance. Right, Along, but when someone doesn't have insurance, it's my job to figure out who's actually at fault. So I understand. Yeah. Well, so, the, so what's the standard <coughs> of proof? He has to have a standard of proof of gross negligence. But this could have been- Why? Why can't it just be that uh, your company doesn't repair its pipes? Well, I have government records uh, from HPD that show that there were no violations in the apartment, and he could have done two things, which would have solved this problem. He could have, A, taken the money as he s swore with his sworn statement, and he could have filed what's called an HP action. But I don't think that- What's an HP action? Well, an HP action is basically when the tenant would sue the landlord for repairs and damages, and then they would go in and they would see that there are violations. He's called 311. Okay, stop. You're like mixing five or 10 different things at once. It's very simple. Either it's the management's fault or it's not the management's fault. Mm -hmm. So there is a super who made a repair. Where is the super? Is he here to testify? No, I'm, I'm going to affirm based on the conversations I've had with the super, based on conversations I've had with the managing agent. Of yeah, do we have a statement not, from the super? No, we have, we have a government record that shows that there's no violations what in his apartment. What does that have to do with anything? You could have a place that has no violations and have a busted pipe that belongs to the common area, and then you would owe him because it's a pipe that belongs to the common area. Well, also, oh, we don't stand even... Stand up, accountant. We, Tell me what you're here about. Can I, can, I, can I just add something, though? Hold we don't on. even know. In a minute. Go ahead. Your Honor, forgive the rudimentary nature of the tables I created, but I you just. You created tables? Yes, we I have, did. We have grass and we have For cat. a used TV, you created tables. They're very simple. They took no time at all. Now, you have brought me an accountant because you think I'm so stupid, I don't know how to value an old TV. No, no. <laughs> so go ahead. Let no. me see the grass. Let me see the graphs. Well, no, it's fun for me. I got you. <laughs> because I want to see how science, I mean, this would be more scientific, I guess. Oh, look at what you did. Well, if you look at the patterns on the graph, OK, the TV was very high at wait, one wait, point. Wait, wait, you be quiet. I want to hear from your expert. <laughs> Go. Go ahead. So is the landlord responsible for this damage? I think so. If he was made aware of it, yes. If he was not made aware of it, then I would, I would think not. You know what? That's about as good an analysis as I could expect going inside the courtroom. There's really nothing to explain other of than- Of course not. <laughs> after one year on a general warranty, two years on an extended warranty. Third line that's that missing is five, five years, years for whatever. That was for five years of which I have a supplementary document just right. for the- Well, we could do that, or we could go online and see what that TV costs today if someone were to buy it in the used market, which is the exact definition of the value at the time of the loss. It's what you would get if you sold it, all right? In any event, let's talk about the actual liability. Your side is in the unique position of being able to investigate and figure out and testify to me as to what caused the leak. But I got nothing from the super to tell me what the leak would cause a leak? Well, Your Honor, based on um, records by the Housing Preservation Development, okay, once again, there are I don't, no violations, no leaks. Do you no understand leaks. that a violation and a I, leak are two different things? I understand. They, they inspect, and there's also They inspect H how often? And let me tell you something. They inspect how often? They inspect whenever there's an HP proceeding. Okay, so you're suggesting that he should have filed against you? He was nice enough not to file a housing violation, which a retaliatory guy might do, all right? Then how am I supposed to determine what caused the leak? Actually, it would have actually been 
probably a good thing that he filed an HP Are proceeding. Are you a litigator? Yes, I am, Your Honor. And hey, the, come on, man. Look, I'm telling you. All right, you. no, seriously. Well, uh, well, right, okay, can I explain? I mean, if you're a litigator, you know that what you're telling me is makes no sense. There's a leak. Is it caused by you or is it caused by another tenant? I don't understand. What Your am Honor, I supposed to determine all, caused that leak? All we have is that proof that there was a television there one day. All right, really? That's, what that's do you all see on top of the TV? I see a little hole, but do I mean, you? I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. And what, no, 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 no. Walk over to the TV. I need you to walk over to that screen. Do you see the ceiling, a bubble that is consistent with water damage? I don't see water damage. Okay. <laughs> and th there is none so <laughs> blind as he who will not see. <laughs> Mm. I've had water damage. I know how it bubbles, and I know how it looks. But worse than that, you're an officer of the court. You mm -hmm. have spoken to the super, and you know that there was water damage. No, I'm saying he. it's his standard of proof to show that, there were, that we were grossly yeah. negligent. Yeah. Where did you get that idea that he needs to show gross negligence? Where do you get your law? Because that's not the standard. Yeah, if you're going to no, bypass Franklin's negligence, insurance. Negligence. There's no insurance in this case. I find you guys liable. The question is, what is it worth? Is it worth the 1087 and 62 cents? No. Your Honor, may I just No, you may you? not. Thank you for the graphs. Um, seriously, the value of this thing is infinitely less than the $500 that the manager offered you. You should have taken the $500. When I go online to, and shop for this model of TV, it's only worth $225. So if you had taken the $500, you would be better off. You should have taken the $500. Oh, no. I'm sorry to no, say that. No, there's no I'm it, sorry. I'm it, it sorry. Tried, it tried to, it tried to. Your Honor, there's Why? no reason okay. to buy insurance Stop. anymore. Nobody's talking to no you. Nobody's talking to you. You keep saying it with nonsensical things. You can't talk over the judge. Then you're Liability. setting a precedent that it will if be you, unlimited if you, if you do that again, we're going to oh, have sorry. a problem. Do you seriously think that it is an answer in a lawsuit to keep saying, he should have bought insurance? You're a lawyer. That's the kind of thing <clears throat> non-lawyers say. You know that that has nothing to do with this. All he has to do is show that it's your fault. He's got to be able to persuade me that it's the fault of the owner of the building. See, only one person knows, and that's the super, who you don't bring. OK, now you have a counterclaim against him for $1,500 for malicious prosecution. First of all, malicious prosecution is for criminal cases, and we don't have a criminal case. He didn't file a criminal case against you. So I guess you mean abuse of process, and abuse of process, you would have to show that it was being malicious. I'm looking at the darn lump on the ceiling. So then why are you filing a $1,500 malicious prosecution against him? Okay, so what it is is actually a retaliatory lawsuit because Basically, what happened is we've had two prior non-payment cases where he's not paid his rent, and we've gotten final judgments with warrants issued against him. When did those two happen, before or after this leak? This, this happened prior to the supposed leak. Okay. So then what you're saying is that he's suing you mm -hmm. for that leak that both you and I are looking at with our eyeballs in order to retaliate against you for non-payment of rent stuff. It could be for retaliation. Mm -hmm. Like you're saying, or it could be because there's a darn leak that we're both looking at with our eyeballs, right? Looks to me like he's suing because the darn TV broke after a leak. It doesn't look to me like retaliatory. So on your counterclaim, zero. On your claim against them, I have found this on several sites that sell used TV for $225, and that's all I can award you because that's the value of the depreciated TV. Okay. And I was able to figure that out all on my own. <laughs> Good luck, gentlemen. All right. Thank you so much. So the plaintiff does win, but he doesn't get what he was seeking. Mr. Metcalf, quick question. I can't believe you're a lawyer and you're talking back to the judge the way you were. Wow. Oh, I apologize. But uh, no, I just have kidding. to say. No kidding. I have to say. It made me look stupid, you know? Well, I would have to say that I'm just glad that I got a fair f hearing and the uh, the people uh, chose Judge Marilyn to give us a fair hearing, and I believe the people have spoken. And I think that you made a wise decision. Get it off your chest. Okay. Very good. Thank you very much. Unbelievable. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. You know, I really feel sorry for you. I was hoping you'd get enough to, but maybe you can replace that TV. Here's <laughs> to, to this way. For the $225 the judge said they're yeah. selling for now. Yeah, I don't have any choice because as the judge, you know the better. 
Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, you go out and get another TV, all right? Uh, You're going to get enough to buy one. Okay, no problem. Okay, good luck to you. Uh, you too. Thank you very God much. God bless you. <laughs> good luck. Harvey? Okay, this gentleman is right. Put the landlord on notice, and then they're going to be responsible.